Hello parents and students, it's Miss Hook, the fourth grade language arts teacher. I decided to make this video to help some of the students with the spelling and grammar pages. I know that some of them have uh, proven to be a little bit difficult, and so I made this video to help you um, with that to make it a little bit easier. The first page that I'm going to go over with you today is page 196. On page 196, the students had to replace the underlying word in the sentence with one of the spelling words. I know that the paper copies you received were missing the underlined words, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go over with, with you the underlined word for each sentence, and then I will explain how to uh, use the context clues in the sentence to figure out which spelling word can replace the underlined word. So for sentence number one, the underlined word is subject. For sentence two, dangerous. For sentence three, blunder. For sentence four, hit. Sentence five, hurt. Sentence six, quarry. For sentence seven, the words are the same. For sentence eight, it's community audience. For sentence nine, the underlying word is empty. For sentence 10, the underlying word is charged. And for sentence 11, the underlying words are outdoor party. Now, once you have all of the underlined words, you then need to read the sentence to figure out which spelling word can replace the underlined word. So some students love the subject of gymnastics. So then you would look over here and topic would be the word that could replace subject. So you would write that on the line for number one. Okay, the second page I'm going to go over is page 198. This is a page that the students are very familiar with. They've been given this page for homework. Um, it's very easy. They just have to read the paragraph and then find the misspelled word circle it, and then replace it with the correct spelling word. So, the stagecoach driver was glad to pull into the station yard. It had been a risky ride. They would circle the word risky, and then they would write the word risky correctly on the line using the spelling words over on the side, okay? The next page I'm going to go over is page 199. Page 199 is um, our adjectives page. At the top of the page, it explains what an adjective is. An adjective is a word that gives information about a noun or pronoun. An adjective can tell what kind or how many. And then there's two examples. A sudden boom of thunder scared the six horses. Boom would be the noun in the sentence. Sudden would be the adjective, and that would tell um, what kind of boom, it was a sudden boom. Horses would be the noun in the sentence. Six would be the adjective, it would tell how many. And then for the second example, drinking fountain. Fountain would be the noun, and drinking would be the adjective, it would tell you what kind of fountain it was. For numbers one to three, again, the underlined we're missing, so I'm going to start by telling you what the underlines are, and then I will explain how to find the answer, okay? So, in sentence number one, the underlying words are flashes and lightning. Those are both nouns. For sentence number two, the underlying words are horses and hill. Again, both of those are nouns. And for sentence number three, rain is the underlined word. Now that you know the underlined words, you need to go back and find the adjective. So, we saw several flashes of bright lightning across the sky. Flashes is the noun, so you're looking for the adjective that describes flashes, which would be the word several. So you would write several as your answer for number one. And then you need to write what kind of adjective that is. Would several describe what kind of flashes or how many? And the answer would be how many. Several is a amount word. And then the other word was lightning. And then again, the adjective would be bright. And that describes the lightning. And then Bright would be what kind. And then you would do that same thing for numbers two and three. And then for the bottom, numbers four, 
five and six. Um, the students have to um, write the adjective and circle the noun. So for sentence number one, today heavy traffic often clogs the streets of big cities. You would circle the word traffic because that is the noun. And you would also circle the word cities because that's the other noun. And then the adjective for traffic would be heavy. So that would be your answer for number four. And then the adjective for cities would be the word big. So you would write that on the line for number four also. And then the students would do the same thing for numbers four and five. And the last page that I'm gonna go over with you today is page 200. Again, at the top, it describes um, the adjective after B. Adjectives describe nouns and pronouns such as I, it, and we. An adjective can follow the word it describes. This usually happens when an adjective follows a form of the word be. So in the sentence, she was proud. Proud would be the adjective describing the she. So for numbers one through eight, the students have to underline the adjective and then write the word that it describes. So for example, sentence number one, the river was deep. Deep would be the adjective, so you would underline that, and then deep would describe the river. The river's the noun. Again, adjectives are words that describe nouns. Second one, I am warm under the blanket. Warm would be the adjective, so you would underline that. Warm describes the person, so I would be the noun. And then the students will complete numbers three through eight following the same way. Thank you. And I will post a video for next week's um, papers um, as soon as I'm done this one. Thank you.